Mahindra Alvarez, a name which has become synonymous with the Bigfoot, has also single-handedly managed to catapult Loto Lim on the tourist map of Goa. He started off in 1994 and 11 years down the line changed the face of the small village, Lotoli. We have an exclusive report. After completing his Bachelor's of Fine Arts way back in 1983, little did Mahindra Alvarez realize that his name would figure prominently on the tourism map of Goa. But his ancestral property at Lotolim beckoned him. The legend of Bigfoot, the footprint was found there. And that was how the entire project derived its name. Ever since Mahendra started work on his sculpture way back in 1994, he has come a long way. Uh, speaking about the project, this is divided into a number of parts. The first part is Ancestral Goa, which is an open air museum where you can see the entire village, how life was, that is depicted. Then you have the legend of the Bigfoot, the footprint which was found there. Because of this, the entire project is known as Bigfoot. Then you have the India's longest laterite sculpture which has entered the Limca book. You walk through the spice and fruit garden where you have each uh, spice or one type of a fruit tree planted and the description given. And to add to that, now we have got different types of fowls, the geese, the ducks, guinea pigs, the rabbits. This is more attraction for the children because they haven't seen this type of uh, animal life. Plus we have these birds moving around freely, something around 34 varieties which we feed them and they keep on coming and going. So it's a free uh, habitat for the birds also. The sculptor in Mahindra rose to the occasion. India's longest laterite structure of San Mirawai was sculpted by Mahindra which later found the pride of place in the Limca book of records. Okay, now this project began or rather we started the project in 94, 1994 with the beginning of the sculpture which is the in year's longest laterite sculpture done on one single stone in 30 days. It entered the Limca book in 1995. Blessed with ample space at Lotolim, Mahindra thought of putting it to best use. Reviving ancient Goan culture was his main theme and his whole setup here revolves around this aspect. Take a stroll around the whole setup and you find Goa in its myriad forms. A Goa of ST years which brings back nostalgic memories. The importance of Cashew, Old Tavern, Tabla Fine, the village barber at his job, an old hut, traditional household, Hindu gods and goddesses, women folk grinding wheat, Matori, a scholar of the music is on view. And going a step ahead, today the village wicked at the Bigfoot. What we are trying to do is the entire old time of village, how different trades were there, how different uh, cultures were mixed up, how people enjoyed the little festivals. So we are trying to show different dances, the maybe a gram seller, a water, or different eatables like papad, how they would be done. All these things would be portrayed to the people and especially the fanny, the good and the bad, like how you say fanny is used to drink and you get drunk, but no, fanny has a lot of medicinal values which also will be portrayed that day and shown how many different types of fannies also are done. This may be a step later on to promote fanny in a different way, showing it the more of medicinal values than just the drinking value which normally everyone knows about it. Stroll through the village atmosphere on display and one remembers ancient Goa in all its combinations. In a sense, ancestral Goa is all about how man lived in harmony with nature, striking a perfect balance with mother nature without disturbing it in any way. That was how our forefathers lived earlier. Despite having a marvelous display here, Mahendra is unaffaced. He still wants more of it. Interestingly, his son Adriel is showing signs of following in his father's footsteps. Married to Maureen, they are blessed with two children, daughter Karishma and younger son Adriel. The family portrait finds a pride of place at his outhouse here at the Bigfoot. Along with it, a dome welcomes any visitor the traditional way in what can be described as a perfect example of communal harmony. Now here what you see is the red sandstone which the Hinduism was there in Goa. 
which was incorporated by the dome or the Muslims brought in and then later on the Christianity which came and put across. You can see all the three religions how they live in harmony. The Belgium glasses for the candles and the lamps which are very much traditional and go on. Like we have not covered entire, it is I should say only one fifth or maybe one tenth of the entire thing has been just put across. But there is more to it and if with the help of different people, I think people, agencies and the government maybe we could do a much better job. When he started off with this venture, Mahendra was being mocked at by a section of the population. Now that the ancestral Goa occupies a pride of place on the Goan tourist map, the entire village rips its spin-off benefits. This is Mahindra's contribution to Lothalim and Goa in particular. Prachin Goa cha jivan paddhati cha darshan ghadevnaarya Lothali ethil Mahindra Alvaris yaan cha Bigfoot prakalpatil pariyatan hangama cha shubharamba उद्योग मंत्री लुईजिन फलेरो यांचा उपस्थितित झाला या वेळी ग्रामीण जीवनावर आधारित कला प्रदर्शनाचे फलेरो यांच्या हस्ते उद्घाटन झाले of Lothalim and to ancestral Goa to enjoy our cultural and traditional music and presenting before you is a very light project Cestal Goa which is also known as the Bigfoot. Now here what you can see is how Goa was a hundred years back. The lifestyle, culture, the ways people lived and all different uh, aspects of Goan life. Here we also have the India's longest letter at sculpture which is of Sant Mirabai which has entered the Limca book of records for 14 meters by 5 meters. And you have the legend of the Bigfoot where you can see a lot of wishes and things come true. To promote environment, how man lived with nature, the all different types of trees, plants, the animals which are moving around here. We can see different types of fowls, rabbits and different things. It is to see Goa in a nutshell how it was some years back. Lotli hanga ashilya Bigfoot Ancestral Goa hancha naturally yours pradarshana che uktavan shikshan ani uddyog mantri Luisin Falero hani kele tancha sai Shrimati Rachel Falero hajir ashilyo purvajan che goy ya prakalpa che raspi ani mukheli Mahendra Alvaris hani mantrang pradarshana chi bhodi karun hadli jatun gavatle live karyakramacher bhar dilya rajesh hai paddhatin Falero hanka yokar diu patailo या वेळात हंगा आशिल्या पुराय गोयातल्या कारागिरांनी आपापल्या कला आणि कारागिरीचे वर्णन आणि प्रयोग करून दाखवलो प्रदर्शनात पाटले विकपी कुमार काकणा विकपी आणि हेर पारंपरिक कारागीर आपल्या पारंपरिक हस्तकलांचा प्रयोग करताना दिसकी पडतात तसेच पारंपरिक तरंगा घोडेमोडणी गोफ कळशी नृत्य सादर करपी कलाकारही हंगा पळोपक मेळतात हंगा जावपी फेणी फेस्टिवल जातून वेगवेगळ्या तरांच्या फेणीचा आस्पाव असता ते हंगाचे वैशिष्ट्य नेचरली युवर्स या प्रकल्पान पारंपरिक सांस्कृतिक आणि पर्यावरणाचेर आधारित कलाकृतींच्या वावराचा आस्पाव असा 
महेंद्र आलवारीस हाणी कोरायली आनी लिमका वर्ड रेकोडान सामिल जाले मिरा बाईचा शिल्पाची आनी बीक फुटाचे दर्शन फालेरो हाणी हेतले। बीक फुटाची चड मायती दितना महेंद्र आलवारीस। आला खड़पार एक पाई मेडलो दो। वो पायार जायत लोग यों रायो पाई दोरों तांक किने जायते मागता अनि कोणा ची किने जालते हैं पेपरानी अनि लोग आंगे आते थे सागले सांगता ये वो पहले प्रोजेक्ट आ स्टार्ट जाने द इंडियन लॉन्गेस लेटराइज स्कल्पचर इंडियन सागलांग कोड मूर्ति पीलिम का सोलह मीटर बाय पांच मीटर मायर ओगाओ ओगाओ कशे गोया पहले लोग कराउता � एक नटशेल आंतुन में दिस्ता प्रकार चीन ज़ाड़ा फड़ा स्पाइसेस तें सारे लोग तुमको ऐसा क्या यार दिस्ती बढ़ता आका नाउ बिग फुट मेडना आका लागू